My family loves eating grilled cheese sandwiches while camping. Super good. It's so good. Especially when it's paired with some tomato soup and some french fries. This is a fun dinner to do in fall when the weather is a little cooler. I start with the soup. We use just the standard Campbell's tomato soup. Open the can of soup and pour it in the pot. Add a can of water and stir it around until it's mixed. You can use any cast iron or stainless steel pot on the Blackstone. I like to use the steam table pans because they fit nicely on the Blackstone. This pan is much larger than needed, but it's what I have and it'll work. Put the pot onto the blackstone on low heat. Okay, now it's time to start the fries. We like the Alexia brand fries, but any frozen fries will work. First, put some oil on the grill where you plan to dump the fries. Then, put the fries on the blackstone and then squirt some more oil on top of the fries. Mix them around until they all have some oil on them. Turn the heat to medium and then put a basting dome on top of the fries. And then take a second to stir the soup. Time to prep the grilled cheese sandwiches. We like to use either buttermilk or potato bread. This time we went with buttermilk. And to make it easy, we use pre-sliced cheddar cheese. Add a couple of pieces of cheese on top of each slice of bread and then top with another slice of bread. Take a minute to flip the fries and stir the soup. To speed things up, I microwaved the sandwiches for just a minute just to start melting the cheese. You can definitely skip this. Just use more butter and then make sure that both of the burners are on low. So now I take the basting dome off of the fries. I flip them a little bit more and then scoot them to the edge just to give yourself some more space for sandwiches. And while you're at it, I'd stir the soup again as well. Now pre-slice some butter. Melt the butter on the Blackstone anywhere you want to put a sandwich. Then put the sandwiches on the Blackstone. Take some more of your butter and put a few pieces on the top of each sandwich. If you didn't pre-melt your cheese, you'll be better off buttering the entire piece of bread, but this is way faster and easier, which is why I go this route instead. The soup should be done at this point, so make sure you have a spot to set a hot pan and remove it from the Blackstone. Since I took the soup off, I decided to add some more butter and then move my sandwiches around so there were more on the burner set to low and less on the medium burner. You can see the sandwiches that were closer to the fries got a little darker than planned. To prevent this, take the soup off sooner so the low heat side has more space or turn the burner down for the fries. Our family likes crispy fries and they're okay with some darker grilled cheese pieces, so this worked out just fine for us. With the soup off, you can close the hood for this last bit, which will help the cheese get nice and melty. After about two minutes, everything should be done. Open the hood and remove the sandwiches from the Blackstone, then pull all of the French fries off. Now you can serve up some tomato soup, cut up some sandwiches, and throw some fries on the plate. Then this meal is ready to be dipped and enjoyed. This meal always goes over well. We've done just sandwiches and fries or just sandwiches and soup. To save time, you don't have to do all three. With any combination, this ends up being a simple dinner that the whole family is excited about.